tree and this is a coconut. Wow! I've got to move this from under the tree before I get hit. Ouch! Just a little bit more. There! I have to rest a minute. Whew. Hi there, Rudy. You look kind of beat. Oh, is that a coconut? When do we eat? Hi, Nedley. I'll be glad to share it with you if you help me break it open. Um, my carrots need water. I really must run. I'll stop back for a piece as soon as I'm done. Oh, I don't believe this. It didn't even make a dent. <laughs> ah! Oh! Ow! Ow! My food! My food! Oh. Huh? Hmm, if I push this thing over the edge, it'll roll down, hit the tree, and maybe it'll break. Uh, 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 uh. That's it! Now please hit the tree! Come on! I hope it cracked. Not even a teensy weensy crack. Hey! Come back here! Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Help! Help! Maggie! Bees! Over here! Help! Did you hear something? Hello! Is that Rudy? It is! Rudy! What's wrong? Stay there, Rudy! I'll get you! Oh. Oh. Dear Rudy, are you all right? Oh, I'm okay. Hamilton, can you take care of my coconut? Oh, I'm exhausted. I tried all day to break that coconut. It rolled down a mountain, hit a tree, then it fell into the river. It was just awful. <laughs> Relax, Rudy. It's all right. I'm going to get my cookbook. Hamilton is rushing things a bit. First, we have to break it open. That's what I've been trying to do all day. Have you ever tasted fresh coconut, Rudy? Nope. It is delicious. Now, let's see. Uh, coconut cake. Coconut cream pie. Aha! Coconut fried pumpkin. Coconut fried pumpkin? I never heard of that. It sounds scrumptious. Let's get this coconut open. We must save the coconut milk when we break it. Right, Maggie. I'll get some cups. I wonder how we can open this. I could just step on it. That would smash it to smithereens and spill the coconut milk. I brought my thimble for Rudy. He gets the first taste of coconut milk. Hamilton, we're trying to decide how to open this coconut. Hmm. I must examine it carefully to find a weak spot. Then, with one careful blow... hi -ya! What's that sound? He's pecking a hole in Rudy's coconut. Quick, Hamilton! Fill the cup! Rudy gets the first taste. Where is he? Poor little Rudy. He must be exhausted. <laughs> one giant coconut. <laughs> Friendship Day. I think we're just about finished. Doesn't the box look beautiful? Yes, and now my Friendship Day cards are ready to mail. Where's Beast? He's on the other side of the hill finishing his cards. He said no peeking. He'd better hurry. Everybody will be here soon. Our mailbox will be bulging. Gee, I hope I get some cards. Hamilton, on Friendship Day you send a card to tell a person how much you like them. I'm sure you'll get a lot of cards. Do you really think so? Positively. Oh, I can't wait. Let's get the table set up. This is a special day. But what are you going to use for the jelly beans plates? Oh, here. I thought of that. Oh, Hamilton, what a great idea. What is it, Maggie? Hamilton made little dishes out of acorn shells for the jelly bean team. I wish everybody would get here soon. Did you put your Friendship Day cards in the mailbox, Beast? Yes. Who's going to be the mailman? 
I thought I'd serve my cake first, and then I'd open the mailbox and hand out the cards. Did you mail your cards, Hamilton? Oh my goodness, I forgot. I'll mail them now. Hi, everybody. Am I too early? Of course not. Maggie, can you please lift me up to the mailbox so I can drop my cards in? There you go. Now that is one beautiful mailbox. Now all we have to do is wait for the others to arrive. I hope nobody forgets their cards. I can't wait to see Hamilton's cake. I can't wait to eat Hamilton's cake. I really think it's nice to send a card to each and every friend. So here is what we all should do. You send one to me, and I'll send one to you. <laughs> You're funny, Nedley. Attention, everyone. Oh. That's delicious. Please take a plate and line up for a slice of cake. Maggie, we have company. Oh, they're so cute. I'll bet they'd like some cake. What should we do? After all, it is Friendship Day. We can share our cake with them. Everybody listen. Don't spill your crumbs. I'll be back in a minute. I wonder what Hamilton is going to do. We'll find out very soon. Hamilton's gone, but mark my words, when he returns, he'll feed the birds. <laughs> okay. I'm going to collect the crumbs from your plates and place them in these baskets. Thank you. Hamilton, what are you going to do with the baskets? We'll hang them on this tree. My, my, my. Don't they look pretty decorating the tree? Let's let the birds eat the cake crumbs. Come on, everybody. Let's open the mailbox. Attention, everyone. I will now open our lovely Friendship Day mailbox and I will give out the cards. Okay, here we go. The first card goes to the Beast. Maggie, will you please give this to him? Here's one for Rudy. Thank you. Marge. Here's one for me. Maggie. Red jelly bean? Nedley? <sighs> the ferocious beast. And here's another one for the ferocious beast. <laughs> oh, another card for me? <laughs> thank you. Yes, thank you. And Hamilton, the cake was delicious. And I guess we all know who's the most popular one in Nowhere Land. Thanks, everyone. I had a great time. I think it's time for me to run. Goodbye to each and every one. We must do this again next year. Make sure you have your cards. Well, I think that was a very successful party. I agree. Did you get one of these tiny little cards from the jelly beans? <laughs> I got a card so small I couldn't read it. I guess it's from the jelly bean team. How about you, Beast? What? Did you get a tiny little card from the jelly beans? I guess so. Beast got so many cards, he probably hasn't even looked at them all. Beast, where are all your Friendship Day cards? They're here. Where? I'm sitting on them. So they don't blow away. <laughs> Beast, how did you get so many Friendship Day cards? I think you got more cards than we have friends. I'm sorry. For what? I did a bad thing. What are you talking about? I sent some cards to myself. <laughs> Why did you do that? Because I didn't think everybody would send me a card. But everyone did send you one. 
I know. Dear Beast, cheer up. I wouldn't call it a bad thing that you did. You wouldn't? No. Yes, Maggie's right. But you should know that you have a lot of friends here in Nowhere Land. Thank you, Maggie. Hamilton, you're my best friends. Happy Friendship Day. Happy Friendship, Friendship Day. Day. A contraption. Is it my turn now? Yes, Beast. Go ahead and spin. Oh, that wasn't very spinny. Try it again. Did I win? <laughs> Not yet, but maybe soon. Why didn't Hamilton want to play? He's been drawing all morning, but he won't tell me what he's drawing. Let's go see. What about our game? We can finish it later. Okay, but it's my turn when we get back. What are you drawing, <gasps> Hamilton? Well, it's a contraption. What kind of contraption? A surprise contraption. Woo! What does it do? Well, I can't tell you. That's the surprise. Now, if you don't mind, I have a lot of work to do. Can we help? Please? Actually, you could help me find some things I need to build my contraption. Like what? Uh, well, I need uh, a boot, uh, a spring, a big glove, um, a pinwheel, and, oh, oh yes, a marble. We can get those things. Sure we can. Hmm, a boot. Where are we going to get a boot? We could use my goulash. They're in Hamilton's box. Oh, yes. I forgot. Your goulash. That's good. Come on, Beast. Let's go find the other stuff Hamilton needs. A spring. A spring. We need a big, springy spring. Hello. Please. I don't think we're going to find a spring in there. Then where are we going to get one? Hmm. Maybe Nedley has one. Let's go. Okay. Nedley! Nedley! Oh, hi, Maggie. Hi, Beast. Hi, Nedley. Hamilton's building a contraption, and he needs us to find a spring. Do you have a spring? Well, now, just let me think. I believe I do. I'll be back in a blink. Here you go. This spring you can borrow. But do bring it back. I might need it tomorrow. You wouldn't have any big gloves down there, too, would you? Now, why on earth would I ever need those? I have rabbit fur over my hands and my toes. Oh, thanks anyway. Try the kindly giant. Maybe he has a glove. I bet he has lots, at least one you would love. Hmm, it might be a little too big, but it's worth a try. Hello, kindly giant, sir. Beast and Maggie, what brings you here? I'll bet you want a strawberry from my garden. Oh, yes! Let's go pick one. Beast, we can get a strawberry later. That's very nice of you, Mr. Giant, sir. But actually, we'd like to borrow a glove. Hamilton's building a contraption. A contraption? <laughs> I see. Well, how about my gardening glove? I lost the other one, so you may as well have it. Do you have anything smaller, Mr. Giant? <laughs> I'll see what I can do. He lost the other one? How do you lose something so big? How about this? I wore it when I was a baby. It's perfect. Thank you very much. Goodbye, Mr. Giant. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Goodbye, little ones. I'll be back later for that strawberry. Next stop, Cheese Town. I hope Rudy has a pinwheel. A pinwheel? Gee, I don't think I have one of those. But Rudy, isn't that a pinwheel? Huh? Hmm. You're right. It's been holding up my clothesline for so long, I forgot what it was. My laundry's done, so feel free to borrow it. Thanks. Now all we need is a marble. But we already have a marble. We do? Oh, of course. One marble. Don't take mine. I'm winning. <laughs> Don't worry, Beast. I'll bring it back. Great googly moogly! It's amazing, Hamilton. Thank you. We found everything you wanted. Wonderful. Maggie, the spring, please. Here you go. Now the glove? Here it is. Pinwheel? Pinwheel. My contraption. It's ready. Let's test it. Where's the marble? Thank you, Maggie. Here it goes. a great contraption. <laughs> Does it work for blueberry muffins? Let's try it. That was great, Hamilton. Yeah. Thank you, Maggie.